Hey, uh, Tim Layton from EverythingEpsy.com here. Um, I get to do all the uh, graphics and editing and website stuff here for Kim's blog. My wife is Kim, and she's the blogger here. But uh, I help out. So um, I help out with one of the th one of the things I do is making uh, making ads and making uh, Facebook banners. You know, like our Facebook picture. You know, the profile here on the top. I mean, the uh, profile photo and the uh, the uh, cover image. Um, you know, so I do that kind of stuff, and, and a lot of times when we do our uh, ad sale, um, which we do, you know, we sell ads all the time, and then every three months we we sell this box of little 100 by 100 ads, and a lot of times when we do this, uh, any ads of any size, uh, the people who are buying them, they, they don't know how to do them, and um, it's really not that hard, but if you don't know how to do it, you know, anything's hard. So I'm going to show you how you can do something um, how you can create ads, uh, Etsy banners, like if you want to put a banner um, for your Etsy shop, you know, uh, how you can make this kind of stuff in your little avatars and whatever you want to make, anything you want to make. I'm going to show you how you can do it pretty easily uh, and for free. And of course, you know, when you first start, you'll be a certain level of good at it, and then you do more things and you get a little better, and you do more things and you get better, and you do more things and you get better and better and better. And um, so don't be frustrated if the first few things that you do uh, don't look professional but if you're going to be selling on Etsy you're going to be working online you you know you're going to have so many of these things that you need even just regular you know people everybody needs this stuff because uh, you know with social media the way it is everybody's got Facebook pages and and uh, Pinterest things and, and you know you want to you want to be able to create some images um, so anyway enough said go to pickmonkey.com Click on edit your photo, and then it's going to bring up, you know, uh, an upload menu. You know, you choose a file from your computer. Uh, I'm going to provide with this video and in the post that this video is with, and a link at the end of the video, a whole bunch of blanks that you can use to work with. Um, you know, 125 by 125 blog button, uh, Etsy profile picture, uh, Etsy shop banner, uh, the 100 by 100 ad that we use on everything Etsy. Um, uh, 200 by 100 ad. You know, of course, I went ahead and included all our ad sizes. Um, the uh, a Facebook cover image, which is 851 by 315. A Facebook profile, which is 160 by 160. And the Google Plus profile, which is 200 by 200. So um, let's just go ahead and do one of these uh, as an example. Um, you know, just let's just do something quick and easy, just to show you how easy it is. So you pick whichever one of these things you're going to work on. Let's say you're going to do a, a Facebook um, cover image. That's really big and easy to use. Um, you know, because it's big, maybe it's a bad example. The uh, we'll do we'll do a, a, a little uh, 200 by 200, like a Google Plus profile or a large ad on our site. So we pick this uh, 200 by 200. You get this square that comes up. Okay, so here you go. You've got a blank white square that you can work with and do some stuff with. Now, now PicMonkey's got tons of features. And you can play with and, and you know learn all kind of different things that you can do to your images. But let's just say that we're going to make a simple, uh, simple profile picture type thing. So we're going to go down here to overlays, click on overlays, and up here click on your own. And then you're going to pick something. Now I've already got a few things included in the same file, so I'm just going to pick. Um, let's just say I like uh, this little this little thing here, and I can drag it. Now if I if I just grab the corner and drag it. Uh, it's going to uh, get bigger evenly. The the aspect ratio will be fixed. So as you see, I can I can go up and down. It doesn't matter that both ways change. Now if I hold shift uh, while I drag the corner, it will go it'll go all out of whack if I want it to watch. So see now I can do that and that and then you know whatever. That's not necessarily what you want most of the time. Usually you want to have the aspect ratio remain the same. So you know, you keep it, you, you don't hold shift as you drag it, but I just wanted you to know you can do that. So let's just do that, and let's just say I want to put a little bit of, um, a little bit of green grass under this thing, so I pick a, a square, a, I mean a rectangle, stretch it out to here, stretch it out to here, drag it to the bottom, and make it green by clicking up here. Wrong color green. Uh, still the wrong color green. Wrong color green. That one works. The, uh, so now I've got this thing going on and um, let's say I want to move this over. Cool. Now let's say I want to put uh, some words on here. So I go to text and I say um, 
you know, whatever. Uh, Sims. Uh, you hit a you hit a space between each item where you can do them separately. But if you want to have line breaks, you you go ahead and hit, hit enter in this entry box. Sims awesome. Etsy shop. And say uh, add. Now you pick a pick a font, whichever font you want. So um, I like the sound of this luckiest guy font, so we go with that. Hit add. So it's obviously really big, and it's white, so I'm not going to see it on that background. So pick a color for the words um, using this little color picker up here, and then make it smaller. So. Um, the color is not, not dark enough. It doesn't stand out good, so I'm going to pick another color. There we go. So that works. Um, now, you know, obviously I would want to play with this some more to get it all to fit exactly right, but one thing I can see right away that I know I don't like is that the flower is behind the letters and it's kind of messing things up. Now, what I, what I probably would do, matter of fact, can I edit this? Let's just go right down here. Just go over here to Etsy Shop. I'm, I'm up in the top left if you've lost me. I'm up here and uh, hit enter and make another space. So now it's like this. Now it's fitting pretty cool and that's good. But uh, let's say I want this picture. I'm click on this little picture down here and I drag it. I want it to go over top of that awesome just a little bit. Okay, so right now it's behind the word awesome because I put awesome on after I did this picture. These things go on in order. Every time you add something it creates a layer. So I want that layer to be in front of that layer. So these are layers just like if you were stacking up transparencies on an old-fashioned uh, overhead projector, if anybody knows what that is. Um, you know, every time you add a layer on top of it, it's just, you know, you can you hide the things behind it unless it happens to be transparent. So let's, um, let's take, let's click on this. See, as you see, when I click there, you can see what it selected. It selected the wrong thing. So I'm going to move over here and kind of click on the edge. Now I have what I want. And I'm going to right click and say bring to front. Okay, so now the flower is in front of the letters. So there's a million uses for that kind of uh, ability to do that. Um, you know, you can play with all kind of different things. Let's say that I don't really like white as the main background color. Maybe I want it to be blue like the sky. So I want to I want to pick um, shapes uh, overlays. Actually, I'm going to go to overlays. I'm going to pick a basic shape again like I did with the grass. I'll pick the green. And I'll just come up here. Oh, here's my rectangle. You see it popped in down here. I'm going to go up here and drag it up to the corner. I can let it stick out over the corner a little bit. It doesn't matter because when I save this, it's going to be the square size that I, of my original image. So now I just drag it until it's where I want it. Okay. So that's where I want it. But obviously I don't want it black. I want it blue like the sky. So I'll pick what color blue I want. Try and get a decent blue. Um, you know, I, I sometimes have a hard time knowing uh, when to be too picky when I'm making a video. I should just let it be what it is. Okay, so there we go. Blue sky, green grass is all good except for the cover of it covered everything up. So right click, send to back. So now I'm going to move that layer to the very back. It'll be behind all the other layers. There we go. So as you can see, I've got a pretty good thing going on. Now the only thing I don't like about it now is that the blue of the letters and the blue of the background are a little bit off. So, you know, they're a little too close. Um, maybe I won't mess with that for the purposes of the video because it'll just take time. And obviously you can just see that you click on it, pick a color until you get a color you like. Now, just to make this thing perfect, um, you know, let me go back to overlays and, and see what other options I have. I thought they had... Uh, some clouds. I think they have comic bubbles. So a comic bubble will work. If I flip it upside down, it'll look like a cloud. So let's just um, click one. As you can see here, it's a cloud. It, it looks like a cloud. It's meant to write text in. But if I flip it upside down and leave part of it hanging out off the edge, it's going to look like a cloud. So whatever. I mean, you know, I don't know if I like the clouds with the black edge. But you get the idea. The, uh, so that's a little button. It's a 200 by 200 button. Um, and that's how easy it was to make. All I have to do is click Save. And I'm done.
it's that's it it's uh well no i have to, to actually confirm that i want to click save and i probably want to change the name because i don't want to overwrite what i already have so i'm going to change the name to something like uh kim's can't put an apostrophe in there kim's awesome shop and I'll leave it at 200 by 200. The, uh, you'll notice that I, I put these underscores. This is a little side thing. A lot of times, because your computer will allow you to do it, people will put blanks in uh, item uh, in image names. That's a bad idea, because your image is going to go on the web, and not all web browsers like those blanks. You need to have a solid image name, no blanks. Okay, so uh, you can use underscores to separate out. It is very good. And, and again, we're going off topic a little bit. It's good to put keywords in your image titles. So if you sell, you know, say Kim's Awesome, you know, felt Etsy shop, she's selling felt. So don't say Kim's Awesome shop, say, you know, Kim's, you know, felt supply or, you know, Kim's wool felt or whatever. And, and that's better for SEO. So save photo. So now I'm putting it here. Um, here we go. So that's it. It's, that's how you do it. It's as simple as that. And you can do the same thing. Let's do a new one. But we won't completely do it. I just want to show you. Do the same thing. Etsy shop banner. Cool. You want to go to your Etsy shop. Pick out a picture that you want to use. Um, you know, right click. Save image as. You know, you put this image somewhere. Say so just put it on your desktop so you don't have to worry about finding it. And you say felt. Um, save. Now you go back to PicMonkey. Say I'm going to put this in here. So you're going to go back to overlays. Up to your own. Go to your desktop. Look for felt. Oops. Coming sooner or later. Here it is. Felt. That's the one. Well, I'm not sure which one I got. Those two are different, so apparently I had one there already named felt. But there we go. Take it. So there, I've got it, and um, and I can make it bigger. You know, and drag it a little bit like that, and now I can write something here, and I've got an Etsy banner. So it's as easy as that. Um, hope I didn't do that last one too fast, but you know. Sometimes I tend to make these videos a half hour long. That could be a little too much. So if you've got some questions, leave them in the comments, and maybe I'll make another video um, that answers them. But for now, I think that shows you how you can do that with PicMonkey. Um, and it's very easy. I hope it's been helpful. Have a great day.